Two weeks from tomorrow, it is Minnesota's turn to start the process of picking our next president. If you've watched TV in the last week, you probably noticed ads for Hillary Clinton and Senator Bernie Sanders. The Democratic presidential candidates have also made numerous visits to the state. That's unusual because Minnesota is normally a bystander in the primary and caucus contest. But as WCCO's Esme Murphy reports, the state suddenly has the Democratic contender's attention. Both candidates have made significant ad buys here. If you're doing everything right but find it harder and harder to get by, you're not alone. Bernie Sanders sounding his populist message, Hillary Clinton pointing to her experience. The presidency is the toughest job in the world, and she's the one who will make a real difference for you. It's the first time in years Minnesota has gotten this kind of attention ahead of its caucuses. Minnesota's turning into an incredibly important state in the Democratic caucus primary season. It matters more this year than it's mattered in a long time. Senator Bernie Sanders has had this campaign office in St. Paul open and up and running since December. He also has campaign offices in St. Cloud, Rochester, Bloomington, and Minneapolis with a storefront presence in Duluth. Minnesota is absolutely in integral to our national strategy. So uh, it is part of our plan to do very well here. Secretary Clinton also has multiple campaign offices throughout the state. Three weeks ago, the Star Tribune Minnesota poll showed Clinton leading Sanders 59 to 25 percentage points. Experts say the resources pouring into Minnesota right now are an indication that the race has tightened significantly. This is a state that Sanders views that he can win and Clinton wants to make sure he can't win it. Tonight, Clinton's campaign said that they knew this would be a competitive race, and that is why they are fighting for every vote. The deputy chair of the Minnesota Republican Party told Esme he expects GOP candidates to put resources into Minnesota right after this weekend's primary in South Carolina.